Hello there. Um, I am uploading this video because Facebook has informed me this morning that I've now been working on my 8-bit on a breadboard computer project um, for just about over a year now and it seems like an appropriate time to post a, a bit of an update. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this really short and quick um, because my phone is being a bit of a dick when it comes to recording video. Um, so we'll just see how it goes. And I really want to post something tonight, um, so I'm not I'm not going to screw around with editing or anything like that. So, da 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 Here it is. Woo! This thing is massive. Though I probably should have measured it. That would have, would have been helpful. Somebody's probably going to ask me. Uh, so, stats for nerds. Why not? 79 chips so far, and it generally draws about 7, uh, 0.7 to 0.9 amps. So, it's getting there. <laughs> um, what we have here, I'm going, again, yeah, keep it quick, Dan, keep it quick. Uh, 16 bytes of memory. Okay, this is the memory. Uh, this is all of the RAM that is available to it and all that I'm intending to make for now. Memory address register. Front panel input uh, switches, uh, essentially. This is just a, a temporary thing. This isn't going to stay. Um, ALU, adder subtractor, lower nibble, upper nibble, fits quite nicely I thought. Uh, three logic operations, XOR, OR and AND. Um, a little bit of decoding. Four general purpose registers, apparently flying the flag for Scotland. Um, and they can all output their stored byte onto any one of the three, or to be honest, that, uh, yeah, only one at a time, um, any one of these three uh, buses. Um, so we have the, the main data bus, which is how we move data around from piece to piece, and the left and right ALU buses. So these are the numbers that uh, would be added together, or anded, or knotted, or exclusive ORD. Um, then we've got some address selection decoding with this so this is a circuitry that tells these tells these chips here which ones to output onto which buses and when um, and then up here we've got the thing that's making all the flashing lights actually do something and it is essentially a uh, implementation of the Fibonacci algorithm um, but apparently I can do it with only two with only three chips um, that one's the clock it doesn't count um, well, given given this architecture, I can anyway. Um, see what see what I mean about the, the phone? It's just rubbish. Um, so, quick demo: something actually working. I can press this button to re send a reset signal to these registers, clear them out, and every time this orange light comes on, it means it's going to write a, a value into the register. So it goes A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Um, if I go down here to my front panel equivalent, I can enter the focus, ah, enter a one onto the bus and store it into one of these registers. So let's stick it in A. There you go, there it went. And now we can see the Fibonacci sequence appearing and it goes, it cycles through them, and for each one, it writes in the value of uh, the, the previous two registers added together. So you get 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, you know. Um, and that's, that's where I'm at. Yeah, I'm still umming and ahhing with the layout, um, but yeah, that's, that's one year on. Um, I have been giving some thought to doing a series of videos talking about it or explaining, you know, how processors work or how this machine works. Um, if anyone would be interested in that, do please give me a thumbs up or a like or a comment or whatever. Tell me, you know, ask your questions and I'll I'll do my best to answer. Cool. Right. Have a good one.